you notice that uh, he heckles me before we start? Just a, a little bit of something. Anyway, the final line is, and Hagrid said what would come would come, and he would have to meet it when he did. And that is the final part of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Uh, I'll start tomorrow night on, uh, what's the next one, Jeff? What is the next one? <laughs> do, well, do you know what the next one is? Yes, Harry Potter and the creature of the thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's Harry Potter and the, the guy was from, the, uh, from Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm excited because uh, it's very hot here today in Los Angeles, probably, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited because I've just discovered that the fire, which I thought was a real fire, is in fact not a real fire. What? No, look, I've, I've just noticed it's, it's a fake. I'll show you. Look, I'll uh, throw a log on it, right? All right. I throw, is throw a log on it, throw a log on it, is that a sex thing? Yeah. <laughs> Like, can I say, throw a log on it, and, like, people all over the country aren't going, oh, throw a log on it! Are you going to throw a log on it? Yeah, anyway, I'll throw a log on it, and I'll prove to you, see? <laughs> so, this leads me to believe the fire is fake, the horse is fake, no, we, no, don't all. Oh, we've always said, we've known the horse has been fake from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it makes me think that perhaps you might not be a gay robot skeleton. Uh, <laughs> did you just boo me, though? No. What the hell was that? S someone booed the fact that you might not be a real go gay robot skeleton? Well, what are you, then, if you're not that? I'm a man. <laughs> with needs. <laughs> I'm listening. If someone had a log and they wanted to throw it in my fire. Could we for once do a show which didn't end up here right away? You're the one who started it because you did the whole throwing the log in the fire thing. This is your fault, man. I know. So tonight, we're going to do a show which is completely devoid of double entendres and any smut whatsoever. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. You probably noticed I've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> it's my new thing that I do. Hey, I heart you. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> uh, a great day here in Los Angeles, the start of Gay Pride Weekend this weekend. Hooray. <laughs> West, West Hollywood has raised their alert status to DEFCON Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can buy tickets online to a lot of this weekend's festivities, but I've seen what these guys wear at those events. I'm like, where do they hold their tickets? <laughs> I said, 
Where do they hold their tickets? <laughs> anyway, gay weekend, uh, gay pride weekend. Uh... <laughs> Hey, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, you know what? Love all yeah. the people. Anyway, yeah. Gay Pride Weekend starts today. Sunday night uh, here on CBS is the Tony Awards. Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I should mention the new Tom Cruise movie opens today. <laughs> wow. what, are you, what are you talking about? I'm saying, I'm saying I want to see this new movie. It's called Edge of Tomorrow. It looks fantastic. I love Tom Cruise. You know I love yeah, he's Tom. He's a good friend. He's, yeah, uh, sure. yeah. Well, really? He's a friend. Yeah, of mine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing about Tom Cruise. That, you know, he might be crazier than a bed bug, but he doesn't make bad movies. I'll go and see his movies. Yeah, and, he's, and, and Tom Cruise is an intergalactic warrior fighting to save our planet from aliens. I don't know who he plays in the movie, but that's Tom Cruise. <laughs> and yeah. the edge of, <laughs> edge of Tomorrow, it's called, is about a guy who's forced to relive the same thing over and over again, day after day. <laughs> I can't relate to that at all. <laughs> Do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know who else is in the movie? Emily Blunt. <laughs> yes, I love Emily Blunt. <laughs> Emily Blunt is a lovely actress. She's a very nice lady, and she is one of my favorite celebrities named after marijuana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Today, of course, a very big day, not only for uh, Great Day in America, it's a great day for Sweden. It's their uh, national day. Uh, this is the day Sweden celebrates their independence from Denmark. And I think I speak for most of us when I say, I didn't know they were two separate countries. <laughs> so in honor of uh, Swedish independence, I'd like to say, Hohen bro dog Sverja. <laughs> very funny. The uh, band ABBA is uh, from Sweden. IKEA, of course, is from Sweden. But of course, Sweden has given us so much more. Uh, like, um... Uh, Sweden's about 400 miles away from uh, Russia. Uh, it's about 400 miles away from Russia, so it means they've still got a few years before Putin gets to them. <laughs> My new presidential palace will be IKEA. <laughs> But I, <laughs> I talk like Dracula, Dracula you see? Dracula, yeah. Yes, yeah. I know I am Putin, but I talk like Dracula. Dracula, Dracula. This pussy riot, put them in jail, I say. It's very good. It's very strong. Thank you. <laughs> You're very polite. One, one annex territory. Yeah, yeah. Two, one, two annex territories. <laughs> one, two, three. I can go on all night. Yeah. Uh, do we do we have a map of? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> You're just clapping because the people next to you are clapping. <laughs> uh, do we got a map of Sweden? Oh, the show is where. Yeah, they are Sweden. Yes, sir. <laughs> Abistan, right there in the corner, as my show. Good on the reds. Yeah. Excellent. There you are. I, I feel we've all learned uh, something there. Hassel Hoffestan, I like that. <laughs> yeah, it fills the day before we do the yeah, show. I you know what I mean? I understand. Yeah. It gives the boys something to do. Have you ever been to Sweden? Hell yeah, a couple times, yeah. I spent a, uh, a gay weekend there. <laughs> What's was... the difference between a gay weekend and a regular weekend? <laughs> None for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. This is Come on. Yeah, sure. You're watching The Late Late Show, This Space for Rent. Of Sweden, right? Sweden, man. We love Sweden. Sweden. We love Sweden and all the things. We got IKEA, we got uh, ABBA, Jeff, yeah, the other Sweden, Swedish fish, those Sw are good. Swedish... What? Yeah, Swedish fish, man. Those are great. Swedish fish. They're like gummy fish, you know? They're like, you know. I don't think I've ever had those. Oh, you'd know if you had them. 
See, when you say it like that, it sounds dirty. You started it. Like, now. if you say, oh, if you would know it if you had one, like that, then uh, it sounds dirty. It's not dirty, but the way you say it, uh, it, it sounds dirty. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> Let's talk like people who present uh, shows on British television. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. fun. That's, that's fun. my favourite thing to do. You start talking like this, and then you finish up talking like this. <laughs> Today, Her Majesty the Queen went to the cinema. Why don't you take a log and throw it in my fire? <laughs> you see? No, no. No, no, no. no. What time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from my BFF and snuggle buddy, Craig Ferguson. <laughs> Play the jingle, would you? Yeah! yeah! Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right! Hell to the metal again, they soon. Drag me out of bed and gag me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm grown into the night. I think that might be my favourite one. That one with the, is the kind of like metal anthem thing. The yeah, I love that one. What was that? We used to do a, a, an anthem about eggs. Remember that? Oh, eggs. Yeah, it was like when you wake up in the morning. That's right. And you have to move your legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fix yourself a breakfast of good old American eggs. <laughs> It was our song about American eggs. That was, was our, our song, man, yeah. <coughs> Patriotic egg song. Yeah, our Patriot was for the Egg Council. You and I were doing some work for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this is from Melanie in Stamford, Connecticut. You ever been there? Uh, Melanie, yep. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite part of Melanie? <laughs> Her eggs. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, man, you even made the horses shake his <laughs> yeah. head at you, man. Yeah. All right, uh, Melanie says, Craig, uh, how do, you, do you know any secrets to getting good Broadway seats? Jeff, have you ever gotten a good seat on Broadway? Yeah, yeah once or twice. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, you know, you have to know, you have to be on the inside. You have to know people. You have to, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you got to know so someone. You got to know someone. I don't know. In the, in the no, is the answer, no. I guess. <laughs> this is from Alan in Cumberland in Maryland. Oh, I love Maryland. I got crabs there, right, yeah, Jeff? I remember that. I remember uh, that. We got crabs. In... That's where you get crabs. In Maryland, yeah. <laughs> Maryland. Is that near uh, Dover? Is that uh... Dover is actually in Delaware, isn't you, it? Yeah, have Dover's in Delaware. Have you been, have to, Delaware. Have you been, have you been, to, been to Dover? I've been to Dover. Have you been to Dover? I, I've been to Dover, I think. Well, I, I was uh, once in the 80s, I think. Right. I remember, I remember I bent it over and I got some great seats uh, at a theater. Yeah. Great, really great. That's actually, uh, that's one of the, the ways to get good seats is, on Broadway. Is that right? <laughs> is that right? Yeah, you... you <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's telling me to move man. along. So, all right. Um, <laughs> says, uh, Craig, have you decided to run for the U.S. Senate or are you going to go for Prime Minister of Australia? I did have that dream where I was the Prime Minister of Australia. That's remember right. that? That's right, yeah. And I thought, uh, I thought maybe having a dream that you're the Prime Minister of Australia would allow you... To, I don't know what the Australian Constitution is. That, that might qualify you as being able to run. I think that's it. Uh, look, everyone, I've had a dream that I was Prime Minister. They'd be like, well, you better run, then. What were you going to do? You were going to implement some kind of a, like a roadway for... Uh... Yeah, kangaroos. I was going to go kangaroo <laughs> highway all across... Because kangaroos, it's actually a serious problem. Kangaroos get hurt by the, you know, the trucking. So a separate road for kangaroos to get across Australia. Their own native land! <laughs> Would people ride on the back of the... Or is this just for the kangaroo? Well, if you can, if you can talk the kangaroo into letting you take a ride... <laughs> is riding the kangaroo a sex thing? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great way to get uh, tickets to a Broadway show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. All right. Come on. Um, bu bu bu. This is uh, from Colleen in Boston who says, uh, Dear Craig uh, and Jeff Peterson, uh, if you were going to replace Secretariat, who would you replace him with? That's a ridiculous question. You don't replace your friends. You 
replace you? That, I'm so sorry, big fella. That's ridiculous. You don't replace your friends with other friends. You don't say, oh, if I was going to replace Jeff. <laughs> the hell was that, man? <laughs> what, the hell, what the hell are you guys doing over there? No, nothing, man. What is We're that? Just talk to each other. It's nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are you moving your hands like that? What's going on? Nothing. You're trying to get tickets to a Broadway show. <laughs> Hello? Hello, it's um, Robert De Niro. Uh-huh. I don't really like what, you, what you're doing. <laughs> Making fun of a robot like that, it's not nice. Once okay, you stop it, I'll, I'll stop doing it. Cut it out. Also, listen, um, you score me some tickets to a Broadway show? I might be able to help you out. You ever been to Dover? <laughs> Once in the 80s. Hang up the phone, I'll break your legs. Wow. What was Bro, that? Yeah. Weird. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, this is from Jamarcus in Miami, Florida. You ever been there? Yeah, Jamarcus. Jamarcus. Got two names, that guy, Jamarcus. No, it's Jamarcus. It's one more, Jamarcus. Yeah, like Jamal and Marcus. He combined them. He's got two. No, 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 no. It's Jamarcus. That's his name. Don't Jamarcus. make one of the guy's name. No, I'm saying he's, he had a choice and he went with both. He didn't have a choice. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't have a choice. His name's Jamarcus. You Jamarcus. know the backstory of this. Don't make that you know Jamarcus. You're not. You don't know Jamarcus. Not like I know Jamarcus. Oh, you know Jamarcus. Now you know Jamarcus. Yeah, oh, I know. Don't tell I know me Jamarcus about Jamarcus. better than you know. Oh, for really? example, he sent me the email, not you, Piatch. <laughs> Well, if you know him so well, why don't you call him? All right, I will. Hello, operator, get me Miami. Oh, let's do the things. All right, just a second, hold up. Ring, Hello? ring. Because it's, it's on the other side of the phone. Ring, ring. Hello? Hello, Jamarcus? Yeah. <laughs> You sound a bit like Robert De Niro. No, it's, it's Jamarcus. How's it's it Robert De Niro, isn't it? Is this, yeah, it is, it is me. <laughs> I was trying to do a voice. It wasn't very good. I understand. I do, I do impressions. You do impressions? Yeah, I can do impressions. Oh, can you do John Rickles? Because <laughs> apparently that's a really hard one. <laughs> Hang up the phone. <laughs> Hell. Hey, Marcus. Hello? It's uh, Stan Rickles. Stan. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's like Stan, like Don Rickles. Stan Rickles. <laughs> uh, this is from David in New York City. He says, Craig, what time is it right now? Well, it's exactly the time that it was before. <laughs> and that's magic. <laughs> That was magic. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what you do. It's called a misdirect. You know, right, you, misdirect. Yeah, if you make a mistake, you misdirect it. With like, for example, if I'm a magician, I'm like, pay no attention to the chicken in my pants, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How did he do that? Exactly. <laughs> People will be like, he just—he can't possibly have a chicken in his pants. You're like. Wah! I tell you what, that's the most fun I've ever had doing this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally, this is from Thomas in Winslow, Arizona, who says, uh, Craig and Jeff, have you ever thought about going around the country on a crime spree instead of solving crimes? <laughs> no, we'd never do that. <laughs> no, we would never do something like that. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. <laughs>
My first guest tonight is a very talented, extremely funny man. Handsome, too, I think, really. Oh, very sexy. Yeah, uh, season two of his show, Derek, is now on Netflix. Take a look at this. <laughs> Ricky Gervais, everybody! Ricky Gervais! Some of these people have been here since last week to see yeah, you. Yeah, they're great. They're yeah, fantastic. No. Welcome back to these shores, my friend. It's lovely to see you. It's lovely to be you here. You look very nice. Do I? Yeah, you look kind of casual and relaxed. It's like your sweater, like you're probably going sailing later. You mean I've made no effort at all? <laughs> yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, I better put my shoes on because I've got to go and do I, that show. I forgot how uncomfortable this I'm chair so is. I'm sorry. It's all right. Let me take that cushion off. No. Let me try I like it. No, I'm hugging it now. That's no. Do you want the cushion from the other chair? No, I'm fine. I'm fine like this. I'm fine like this. All right, do you want a puppet or a <laughs> no, I'm or something? Honestly, I'm good. OK, well, I don't want yeah. you to feel like you're being shortchanged, that's no. all. Uh, no, you... Like, example, if I was to walk out just wearing a sweater and a pair of jeans that I could have been... <laughs> Could have worn a tie, man. Is what I'm saying. No, because uh, I look, I look fat in a suit. I just, I don't. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like the, this baggy. I'm getting. I'm always, I always get fat when I come to America as well. <laughs> L.A., um, New York. I put on about three pounds a week because I eat pasta. Because I have to eat pasta. Why? why is it? Because I go to was it some kind of immigration <laughs> thing. No. <laughs> No, because I go to Italian restaurants and well, that's what they do there. Well, they'll make you eat it. You yeah. Know? And then they'll yeah. see you coming in and they'll be, oh, it's a rick, it's a rick. It's a rick. Do you know what? what? They do, well, you get it as well. If you're on the telly, they give you free stuff. I know, it's weird. When and I was poor, they wouldn't give me anything. And you now... Should, you should never give to poor people. Give to rich people. Right. They, well, I wouldn't uh, say I was rich, but I know... No, you know, no, that's, that's, what, that's the way it works. If you're, if you're rich on the telly, they give you free stuff. If you're poor, get out. Well, you know what? It, I think it's because people are frightened that you're going to be mean about the restaurant on TV. For example, you know, you would set a scene in a French restaurant where Frog's legs were openly mocked yeah. by the most <laughs> beloved but... character in television for years. <laughs> How did that start? Who I first went, know. it's a frog, we, sh we should eat it? When did that start? I think they were bored. It's you know, a, it's they are much harder to catch than the snail. <laughs> yeah, Therefore, the snail is, you know. easy. Easy. You can catch. Oh, what's the thing you're sitting on? It's my horse. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat the Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't go to France. Yeah, Don't go to France. They. <laughs> Didn't they have that, a problem with that in Britain recently? People were eating horses unbeknownst to them? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that, yeah you accidentally eat a horse? Beef, yeah. Yeah, well, you've got to be careful with that. Well, I don't eat beef, so I couldn't eat a horse. You, you, are you vegetarian? Nearly, yeah. What do you mean, yeah. nearly? <laughs> well... Mean nearly? That doesn't count. No, I know it doesn't count. Well, you, apart from bacon or something? No, I don't, yeah, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't eat red meat. I eat fish fingers. <laughs> Really? I, I understand you. Fish yeah. fingers are delicious. Yeah, yeah no. But, but I've got, uh, you know, I, I, there's some things I don't eat uh, for morally, like foie gras and stuff, but and the rest is, um, I don't know, a bit squeamish. I'm a bit... I, I, tr I got near, I never eaten frog's legs, but uh, no. I was in New Orleans and, and they, they, uh, there's straight a Straight off the frog. Yeah, I know. Just eat the legs well, they, don't, frog they don't, <laughs> it's not just legs. <laughs> It's yeah. not just legs. It's the, it's the it's actually it's like a pair of tights because it's uh, it's the frogs. You've got, yeah, you've got me a transvestite frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they've what? got little. It's, got, it's like they're little. They're joined. At the, their little bodies are there. You're so not. Like, you're not a vet, are you? No, not, I'm not a vet. That's true. <laughs> I, I'm not. A, I'm not an expert in frog anatomy. <laughs> they're, they're oh, you found me out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, students, the legs are joined to the little body, and then there's the head. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, and that's the story of frogs, everybody. No, that was so awful though because they were looked like they could just like fit back on. What do you mean? Well, it's not like a chicken leg. You know what a chicken leg? It's the leg and the rest yeah. of the chicken's elsewhere. Yeah. Oh, you mean you st it's got a little bit of the thing so you can right. see their yes, it's you can like see it's oh. wiggle machinery. Do they leave? <laughs> do they leave the, the junk? Yeah, <laughs> the junk. I don't. I don't know no. because there was a sort of batter on it. There was a sort of batter, batter trousers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ba batter trousers has to be prison yeah. slang. You know what? You, you know, batter trousers. I, batter I, trousers. I, hey, he's a new kid. Let's I, give him batter trousers. 
I don't know, though. The idea of wearing trousers made of batter appeals to me. Like, at the end of the evening... Everything's better in batter. Yeah, everything. that's true. Well, they, uh, Scotland... They fry deep everything. Deep-fry everything. Yep. Deep-fry pizzas, they deep-fry Mars bars. Yeah, I've tried them all. They're not very good. Why I, would uh... you, though? Why would you? Well, you know, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> It's cold. You're it? trying to die as quickly as possible. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, it's a very bad diet. Are you very good then? Are you like you? You eat no, well. No, I don't. I don't. I don't deprive myself of anything. Then I just have to work out like Rocky. But it wears you out. So I eat and drink too much every night. And then I go to the gym and everything aches though because I run. My knees oh, gone. My shoulders. You've got to use that machine now. Oh, everything's yeah, gone. No, I just, that, I, this machine. Yeah. The frog leg machine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the one I do now because it doesn't hurt my knees. I have to do that. Yeah, I've got to be so careful. Yeah, you I... have to. It's getting older. You're the same age. I know. I know. When you, we, the oh, yes, now, yes. Fast, that's five, I've had five years of the finger. Yeah. I've had five years of the finger now. Well, you, you started late. You start In America, you start 40. No. Yeah, yeah, you start No, 40. the testicles sort of go out the end of the 40s, then you're out of that danger, and then the 50s start the, the old... The old... <laughs> so, so now... That's the exact noise mine makes yeah, as well. Know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Right, OK, <laughs> talking about being recognised in Italian restaurants, being recognised <laughs> when you're having that done is great. So I was having it done once, and um, it, was a, it was a doctor, right? And he'd done all the things. He goes, um, uh, do you want me to take, test your prostate? And, yes, and I said, yeah, fine. He said, um, do you need a chaperone? I went, no, no, fine. He went, OK. So he does that, and he went, big fan, by the way. <laughs> And I went, you want you want him to be a fan if I he's know. doing that. I, know, but I went, I went, thank you very much. <laughs> it's like it is it's because I think he's nervous and I'm nervous and you yeah. just sort of chat. I, I always chatter when I'm nervous and the doctors are, I think that if I'm keeping them occupied, they won't find anything bad. Yeah, but, that's um, true, yeah. yeah. Well, I worry about it. I just had my annual physical. Is it? And oh, it was the, yeah, that. Yeah. And the cat, I've had the cameras, I've had, you what, know. You know, it's just a... Right, OK. Stop it's, doing that. No, wait, right? <laughs> Why do we have to have another human being that knows all our anxieties? Why don't they train chimps to do it or something? <laughs> little chimp, a little Let chimp. Let them finish, I'm interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little chimp. So, so the doctor goes, do you need a chaperone? Uh, no, uh, well, um, but why does he say chaperone? I meant to ask you about that. No, because in case you, you say, oh, he touched me inappropriately. There's <laughs> wow, his finger. Uh-oh. So that's inappropriate, isn't it? Did he touch me inappropriately? Yeah, he shoved yeah, his yeah. finger. Tutti frutti. Yeah, yeah. of course they exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's an inappropriate thing. Exactly, yeah. 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 Well, it, technically it, it, it is, because I was in a fishmonger's. No, oh, right, OK. So, 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 so they, they go, do you want, oh, yeah, uh, 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 do you want a human? No, I don't want a human doctor. And he just goes, OK, bring in Coco. And in comes a little chim in a white coat with one glove. <laughs> straight in there. <laughs> It'll be lovely. <laughs> Hashtag chimp doctor. Right. <laughs> I, I, actually, I'm into it. Yeah, I think it's good. What about, what about other animals, though? Could you have, like, maybe a sloth do it? Because they're so... That would take... Moped. Ages. Yes, <laughs> yes. But, it, they... the, but it's sometimes the speed of the prostate exam is what I find alarming about really? it. It's like, here it comes, you're going to go, ah, and then that's it. What about something that takes about an hour and a half? You, you can watch a film. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we should oh. stop talking about this, though. Yes, we should, well, we should just stop talking. All right, well, we'll have a commercial break, and when we come back... Do nothing. OK. <laughs> we'll be right back with Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Ricky Gervais, uh, we were talking about the uh, situation in the Middle East and, uh, yeah. you know, that, that sort of thing. Putin. And, uh, and what? Putin. Putin, yeah, it sounds a bit like Putin, you know. <laughs> For example, a prostate exam, the... Oh. No, no, OK. <laughs> Never thought of that? No. Do you think he's uh, a bit Hitlery, Putin? He's a bit Hitlery, isn't he? That's what Prince Charles said. Well, I said it before Prince Charles. <laughs> he watches this show, that <laughs> bastard. <laughs> he said, oh, I've just had an idea. It wasn't his idea. <laughs> He was, he was watching the show. <laughs> oh. that, I'm telling you. Oh, dear. He, he, he was like, oh, yes, because I'm wealthy, I can afford American television in Britain. I, th I, I think the royal family, you know, they think, well, what would Craig Ferguson do? Yeah. That's, that's whatever he did. So if we see Prince Charles on a news programme now going, and I'd like chimp doctors to come in. 
Stop, do, stop I'm sorry. doing that. What is that? What's up with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, you'll have to We've been saying it. finger... Hey, caramba. To what's the point that that's just a finger? You, no, no, no. Once this live show goes in the air, you won't be saying finger... Ooh la la. Either. Oh. You'll be saying... Ooh, up the... Ooh. Really? Yeah. Really? I don't know. Why bleep finger? <laughs> Makes it sound dirtier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no. uh, Have you met the royals? You, you're probably on, on course to be Sir Richard Gervais. Actually, um, uh, Harry and William came to a couple of gigs I did. Really? Uh, yeah, they, yeah. Do you call them that then, Harry and William? Are you that, you know? Uh, you don't say, Your Majesty? No, I don't. No? You no. Don't? No. no. No, they, uh, they came with about seven armed guards, so uh, I think they were, uh, they're quite secure. Maybe they were there to steal some of your material, like Prince Charles yes. did with me. <laughs> Yes. I've just had an idea for a show. It's called Derek, and it's about... Croissant. Yeah. <laughs> Croissant. <laughs> oh, oh, you know that thing... You were mocking me a bit No, there. No, you no. Were... It's, it's the, 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 that thing when people say, dance like nobody's watching. Yeah. This is like a chat show. That you're doing it like nobody's watching. Oh, no. but... But they are, aren't they? Eh, some. <laughs> yeah. Most of them are high or asleep. <laughs> what, yeah. what, what's an example of a, uh, a bad, unprofessional show? Uh, this, if, do you ever Would go, no one if it came upon did you, it. Do you ever go, oh, we can't put that out, it's, it was rubbish? <laughs> That's never happened, has it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know, there's a bloke over there in a horse costume. <laughs> That's a beloved British pantomime tradition. He's probably a great actor, that in there, aren't you? you... <laughs> hey, hey, no, you, they're a team, they're a team. You're a great oh, actor, too. you're a great yeah, actor too, too aren't oh. you? They, they, they... <laughs> <laughs> they... They got this gig and they said, we'll do this for a week and then we'll do Chekhov, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> No. And what? This guy here, right? Jeff? No, they, they don't. No, don't. That's hey, a man, beloved look, American. If you keep sitting with your legs like that, I'm going to get you some tickets to a Broadway show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I can't move it because I'll crush the sloth. <laughs> right. right, you're. A, you're is, that, is that a sex thing? That's crushing sex the sloth? Thing. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're, you're a, what, what is he? A gay robot skeleton? Skeleton, yeah. Right, I, no, right. I can see he's, he's a skeleton, he's a robot. His name's Jeff. That's but right. what, what have you done that's gay? <laughs> What's Why the don't you come thing? over here and I'll show you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There he is, man. <sighs> oh. uh, you know, I, I can't believe it, but it's true. We, we're at the end of it. Again, I really think we should know. <laughs> I... <laughs> I really yeah. th no. no. Uh, do you do that at home? Yeah. I do actually. Yeah. yeah I it's do. Got a table. You do what you want with it. Yeah. I've got a table. I'm doing okay. Well, I've got a table. <laughs> I think we've got about four tables in our house. So. <laughs> Score. I, uh, I remember you when you didn't have a table. Didn't have a your table. Name. Yeah. Well, you, that was you, back there. We made our own home. tables oh, back there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Granddad would come in and pretend to be a table. <laughs> then Grandma would pretend to be a table. Oh, oh. those were the days. That's, made our own table. That's definitely a euphemism. Yeah. That's what, ma well, making a table? Yeah, mate, let's make a table. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's a new guy. <laughs> let's make him a table. <laughs> <laughs> why can I... I but why can I do that and not that? Well, because you can. Because you can. Imagine, imagine if a doctor said, now I'm going to do it with two fingers. <laughs> That's apparently what celebrities get, you know. If... <laughs> What? Talking about mine. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you're Crikey. falling from the balcony. I've hurt my back. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is not a television show. <laughs> <laughs>